the magician grabs some air and then magically turns it into a ring. The spectator's card pops out the deck. The magician takes a blue card and visually changes it. The sponge ball vanishes and then reappears in the magician's arm. The coin goes inside the bottle. This is the cleanest coin in bottle you'll ever see. There are no holes and everything can be inspected. Welcome back to the channel everyone, Oscar Rowan here and in this video you're going to learn some amazing magic tricks that anybody can do. I've included beginner, intermediate and advanced magic tricks in this video, so regardless of your skill level, there'll be something in here for you. The magician reaches into the air and grabs nothing. He then magically turns that nothing into a ring. You can literally do this with any ring, so definitely learn this trick. Take a ring and fold your first finger around it like this. Now use your middle finger and cover the ring from the front view, and then use your ring finger and little finger and pull them back. This creates the deceptive illusion that there's nothing in your hand when in reality you're hiding a coin there. Pretend to pluck something out of the air, pass it to your other hand, and then pass it back. Now use your other hand to point your first finger upwards. What's going to happen in your right hand is your thumb is going to pull the ring down like this. So from the front view, you're going to be doing that. As you do that, however, you're going to be placing it onto your first finger. And that's what creates the illusion that you've produced a ring from nothing. So your first finger is like that, and you just put it on your first finger and it looks very magical. The magician has a coin, a napkin, and a bottle from this week's sponsor, Geology. More on them later. He wraps up the bottle and explains that the coin is going to go straight through the table. He tries to push the coin through the table, but it doesn't work. So he inspects the coin and tries again. Again, this doesn't work, so the magician tries to find the soft spot on the table and then puts the coin down and tries again. This time, the bottle goes straight through the table, not the coin. Take a napkin, a coin and any bottle. This can be a glass, a salt shaker or in this case, our sponsor Geology's face cream. Wrap it up into the napkin and then twist the top of the napkin. Explain you're going to try and push the coin through the table. Try and do this and of course it won't work. Pick up the coin again and then try again. Obviously this will fail a second time. However, as you inspect the coin, move the hand holding the napkin backwards and drop the bottle onto your lap. The napkin will retain its shape and so the spectator will still think that the bottle is there. Now place the napkin back over the coin and impossibly push the bottle through the table. This video was kindly made possible by our sponsor Geology. They do all the magic for you when it comes to men's skincare through providing you with a personalised skincare cream and routine. The reason I love Geology so much is because it's not a one size fits all solution to improving your skin. Rather, they specifically tailor it to you and your needs, be it removing acne, dark eye circles, or wrinkles. Just go onto their website and answer their questions by inputting what kind of skin you have and how you're looking to improve it. And then they'll give you a cream that's personalized to you and your skincare goals. Guys can be pretty skeptical about their skincare because it can be time consuming and ineffective. But Geology's award-winning skincare requires just two minutes a day and with dermatologist designed ingredients and personalised routines, results are guaranteed. So click the first link in the description and use the code OSCAR30 for an exclusive 30% off your trial set. Thanks again to Geology for making this video possible. 
the magician takes a red sponge ball, vanishes it, and then produces it from his arm. He then rubs the ball, and it doubles. This trick requires two sponge balls. Place one sponge ball up your sleeve like this, and the next sponge ball, pretend to take it. So what you do is you hold it at your fingertips, your other hand comes over and it closes round the sponge ball like this. And as you close your fingers around the sponge ball, when your fingers get to about here, all you do is extend your middle finger and pull the it back into your hand. And so at full speed, it looks out. like that. Now the sponge ball is really here, you keep it scrunched up and you vanish the other one. Then what you want to do is come up and reach under your sleeve and say it's jumped over here. The spectator doesn't know there's another sponge ball hidden here. Simply place this sponge ball on top of the other one and it'll look like you've got one in your hand. Then press your finger on the sponge ball and rub it and it will divide into two. The spectator chooses any card that they like. In this case, it's the Ten of Hearts. The Ten is placed in the middle of the deck and all the cards are then shuffled. The magician then takes a rubber band and wraps it around the cards. He places the cards on the table. He suddenly hits the table and the spectator's card magically pops out. This is a really visual and easy trick that just requires a deck of cards and a rubber band. Let the spectator choose any card that they like. In this case, they've chosen the six of diamonds. Then take the six and what you need to do is control it to the top of the deck in any way that you like. I've already taught loads of ways on this channel so go and check them out but just use your favourite uh, control to the top and if you want to learn the way that I did it in the video so you take the six, you put it in the middle of the deck, push it in, snap your fingers and it's already on top then check out my card course Card Magic Pro and I teach it there. So once their card is on the top of the deck use your favourite way to do that, turn the entire deck over. Now use your thumb to push the entire deck forward and then use your little finger to pull down on their selection and then move the rest of the cards back. What this does is it separates the spectator's card from the rest of the deck and creates a giant break. Then take the rubber band and place it around the entire deck but not the spectator's card. So you put it in between that gap that you just made. So. That rubber band looks like it's around the entire deck, but in reality, the spectator's card, which is on the top, is not wrapped. So now what you need to do is grab the rubber band between your thumb and first finger and wrap it around the deck and keep pressure on the rubber band with your thumb like this. So it's pressed against the deck, then turn the deck over and place it onto the table. This is now basically ready to move whenever the deck moves. So all you need to do is just and one card pops off and it will be the spectator's selection. The magician folds a card into four. The card is blue and then it changes into a red card. Everything can be inspected. There is a simple and advanced way to do the colour change. To make the simple gimmick, fold the card in four and then stick a same size piece of a different card on top. To make the advanced gimmick, you will need to buy two thin magnets. Fold a card into quarters and then bang one corner onto a hard surface. This will separate the fibres, letting you peel open the card.
take one magnet and stick it to the inside of a card. Then stick the other magnet to the other piece of card. To perform the trick, place the blue card on top of the red card and then turn it around. Fold the card into quarters, only displaying the blue card, and then simply drop the card into your hand and it will impossibly change colour. If you've used the advanced gimmick, you can then palm off the blue card and you're left completely clean. With the basic gimmick, you can only show the face of the card. However, the effect is still very powerful. This is the cleanest coin in bottle you'll ever see. The magician has a coin and a bottle. Both can be examined. He gives the spectator the bottle, the cap, and the coin to examine. Everything is clean and fair. The magician explains that the coin will go inside the bottle. He screws on the lid and taps the bottle on the coin. The coin goes directly into the bottle. This is a really visual and impressive trick that requires two of the same coin and a bottle. Place one of the coins on your middle finger and ring finger and then curl these fingers round so that the coin is now held in a finger palm. This means you can display objects like this and it looks as if your hand's empty but in reality you're hiding a coin. Show that the spectator can inspect the coin and inspect the bottle cap and inspect the bottle. Whilst they're looking at the bottle, what you want to do is secretly slip this penny into the bottle cap. The way in which I did it was really simple. I just flipped the bottle cap over with this hand whilst they're looking at the bottle so that it was on the penny. And then when I turn my whole hand over, the penny is now inside the bottle cap. Quickly, just screw the bottle top back on the bottle. You've now got a coin inside the bottle without them knowing. The next part of the move is you're going to toss this coin into your hand here whilst tipping the bottle downwards so that the penny is revealed. So you go one, two, and on the third tap, you're going to toss this coin into your hand and turn the bottle down at the same time. This sounds complicated, but it's really easy. So without the bottle, you're simply tossing this coin into your hand here and your hand just moves down at the same time. So put together, it looks like this. You go one, two, three. And the coin is now in this hand and you can hand the bottle out for inspection.